So, you want to learn Charge Blade, huh? You've come to the right spot. Charge Blade is basically about a transfer of energy, and you transfer that energy by building it up with your sword slashes or your shield thrust. Over time, you see the icon in the top left turn from white to yellow to red, but if you build up too much energy, you start bouncing off of things when you try to attack. You're overheated, so what you do is load the file energy into your shield. From there, you can switch into Axe Mode, start a move called the SAED, short for Super Amped Elemental Discharge, cancel it with the shield button, and all that energy is transferred into your shield. Now you see that red glow? That means your shield is buffed. It also means Axe Mode is buffed about 15%. It makes a lot of difference over time. So, what you want to do now is build up a second set of files, and you can use those in your horizontal axe swings. You can do an infinite combo by uppercutting and then continuing the horizontal swings. You can also end the combo with the super amped elemental discharge. You can do the discharge from sword mode by chaining from any slash into a shield thrust and then doing the same input again. That's going to be your biggest move, but you won't always have time to pull off the whole thing. So, another set of files. There's a slightly weaker version called just the Amped Elemental Discharge. That one's a little harder to pull off because you have to pull back on the analog stick and hit the basic attack button right when the shield is behind you. But it's a heavy hit with decent stun damage and file damage and it only uses up one file for those three bursts. Pretty good stuff. Now that the absolute basics are out of the way, here are a few more little tidbits of info. Now, while you're in axe mode, you have that slam, you have an uppercut, you have a running slam, good for mobility, not just attacks but dodging, and you can switch back to sword mode at any time with the shield button. Now in sword mode, there are a few nice little things you can do. While you're in the animation for loading your files, hold the basic attack button down, and now your sword is charged with file energy. Very nice for building up stun. After any sword move, you have a slide. The slide can go in four directions, and it can be chained after a side hop. Very nice for mobility which you really need in sword mode. That's going to be kind of your standard mode for getting around in defense, while axe mode is usually pretty stationary because of the long heavy attacks, and you'll mostly use that while monsters are in their longer animations, when you can pull the moves off. And that's about it. When the Iceborne expansion dropped, we got a new move called the Savage Axe Slash. It turns your normal axe into kind of a chainsaw axe. And you do that by initiating the super amped elemental discharge, but canceling it when the shield is behind you with the left trigger. Now, every axe attack is buffed with little ticks of damage. just like a chainsaw. Now this buff will run out over time. I don't know the exact rate, but you'll see your files disappearing over time. And that's pretty much all you need to know. 
Oh, there is one more thing. When you refresh your normal shield buff, it goes away. So you have to rebuff your axe mode. But, the good news is, as long as you have charge in your shield, and as long as you have files filled up, the buff will stay for you. Thanks for watching. What's that on the screen?